Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hotlamp Classic Remastered. This time we'll take a look at the 1998 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 5 GSR. One of my favourite of the generations of Evo, maybe not quite as cool as the Evo 6, but it is still a very, very nice car. And it's here with a purpose. We had the Mines Lancer Evolution 5 go around here, which is sort of a pre-tuned version of this car, and it was at the top of our leaderboard for a while, and I have a sneaking suspicion that the standard car could go even quicker than that, because this has more tuning potential. It has four-wheel drive, 529 horsepower, 1,210 kilos. It is a very perfect car for this track. Admittedly, the Mines Evo is about 200 kilos lighter than this. However, the Mines Lancer Evo, like I said, just doesn't quite have the potential. And also, technically speaking, this isn't the fastest Evo 5. That's going to be the RS, which has reduced weight. Anyways, this car is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Ford GT90, a 28.180. The Evo 5, if it gets a good run, could very legitimately challenge that car. But we'll see. Um, as I said, the Mines Evo is sort of what I'm targeting with this. But, as I said again, if this doesn't beat the Mines Evo, that's fair enough because the, this isn't, you know, there's the RS. And the RS is going to have racing modification because the RS is basically this, but lighter because it's the stripped out, rally ready version, if you will, of the standard GSR. 28.641 on its first flying run. That's how you know it's serious. That's, you know, the first flying run in a car. It's just ridiculous that it gets that, you know, that already. If it just stopped now, it would be six on the leaderboard. And we've had 105 cars. Well, this is the 105th car, but still. We've had 105 cars take on the track. And for this to be sixth place in its first run, that's pretty leading good. Let's see how it gets along. Gonna have to take to the hill. A little bit understeery. It's not quite... I think the gold standard car that I've driven around here so far was that uh, 92 GTO. That was a very, very good car to drive. This is not quite as chuckable as that was. But it's still pretty good. 28.456. Definitely getting somewhere now. Yeah, it's not quite as chuckable as that car was, but it's still not half bad. It's very grippy, as you'd expect. A little bit of understeer. You can feel the weight in this. I don't think... For me, I think the Mines Lancer is potentially a bit nicer to drive. We will get a run-up for this final lap. Can the Evo do it? I think think there's a bit more in this car. I definitely think there is a little bit more time to be found in this Evo, but we'll see. Might be a bit of a silent lap this one, because... It requires some focus. Just sort of point and squirt, which is what I do quite like about Evos, is they are very... So I'll just point them in a direction and they'll go. Not quite. It's a line. 28.5 exactly uh, would be the time on that. 28.456. You know, it's not quite mine's Evo beating, but as I mentioned, the RS is to come around here and the RS could be mighty quick. The other thing to briefly mention as well, uh, with the Mines Evo, is that had a special turbocharger on it as well, like a stage one turbo, which means it could stay up through the rev range. Yeah, that could go. Th there is legitimately point two in that, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, yeah, that's quick. 28.456. That will place it in to fourth place. It is fractionally slower than the Daihatsu Storia Rally car, 
about 0.2, as I mentioned, off the Mines Lancer Evo. I think if you was to go at this all day, perhaps it could be that Mines Evo, but I, I, do, I don't know. I think the RS is definitely... If we think racing modification is probably worth 0.2, and also the fact that it's lighter, yeah, I think it's... Uh, that that car potentially could be very very quick indeed as this one was anyway you know this is also now put the lancers on top of the impressors so the impressors need to fight back a little bit here anyways that's it for this episode thank you all very much for watching join me next time when i'll be driving something completely different until then farewell